Hello all and welcome back to the channel as here and today we're going to be talking about things new players should know when they start BDO. Now if there is one thing that BDO really excels at is confusing new players. So if you see this chart that I prepared, this is what I thought BDO progress would be like. But in reality it's complex and it's more like this. So my goal for this video is to provide you some insight on some of the things that I believe every new player should know to help you out avoid some of the pitfalls and as well use those tools that I'm going to be showing later on to your advantage. The first one is the marketplace tax. And yes, Uncle Sam follows you even in BDO. This catches a lot of new players off guard and they calculate based on the market price thinking that they're going to get the full value. But the central market has a set tax of 35%, meaning that you will only earn 65% of the selling price displayed on the item or the one that you have sold it on on pre-orders. Now, this is where the value pack comes in, which is, I would say, kind of like pay to win in a way, because it would give you an additional 30% tax on top of that 65%, which is 19.5%. That is the one that calculates into the 84.5% that you are hearing a lot of players with, and it can be increased by your family fame by 1.5%. So be careful when calculating what you are thinking that you're going to get a full price, even the high ticket items, and you might be losing it if you're trying to flip, you know, smaller items into just like small profit margins. So be careful. The next thing is that class has damage ratios. Now, if you have finally geared up your shy and you decided to go to PVP in Arsha, you might notice that you are not dealing too much damage as you expect or versus the ones that you do in PVE. That is because shy has short arms like a T-Rex and can't damage much. But kidding aside, classes have damage ratios that affect their damage against opposing class. Now for a shy, they only deal 29.22% to strikers while a striker can do 105.53 damage to a shy and that includes the modifiers for the skills the crits and all so definitely check this one out i've included the link down below so that you would know how your class fares against other classes one of the most important buff that you can get in game is the item drop rate bonus this affects the rare item drop rate as well as increases your chances on getting the rare artifact pieces later on the end game now, one way to permanently increase this by 5% is by activating the security settings for your account. I linked the page for you to be able to activate it, or you can also go to the main site if you're kind of iffy about clicking links. So that is the security through OTP setting to factor authentication that protects your account and it's free. Once you're done with that, you would be able to see an icon on top of your screen at the left side that says old moon treaty token and that is the one that gives you the five percent drop rate now the next one is optional but i see a lot of players having a hard time enhancing their tuval accessories especially the casual players that could only grind for a couple of hours a day so this game gives you a full set of accessories as you hit level 58 to 63. You cannot equip this yet on your seasonal character, but this would be two Kaposha earrings, two Kaposha rings, one of each would be tri, one belt, and one necklace. So this would be enough for you to grind any of the Valencia areas and start breaking in money. Make sure that you also get into different seasons so you can get all of the previous rewards, such as like the pen Kaposha accessories. This would serve as your backup too once you start deciding to enhance for your pen accessories. So this is a great thing for new players. Now there's still a lot of things I want to cover, but I would end with this one. BDO has an app called Black Desert Plus. There are a few things I really love about this app. First is the boss alerts, which you can set up so you don't miss out on world bosses. Mainly, I set one for Vel and Garma since I'm only interested really on the hearts. Now, the second is the ability to chat with your guild through the app, and you will see all of the message that was put in game on your app. So if you have, you know, friends that have you have connected and they are lively in the guild chat, if you're away from your PC, then you can still see the chats in your guild chat, which is really handy if 
you have a lot of players that doesn't use Discord, but likes to chat in game. The third one is it shows all of the updates and notices that the game releases. And as a new player, you have to be aware that video is an event driven game. You get a lot of items during events and all of those ones have somewhat steps in order for you to get them, including the coupons. You could also claim it through the app without logging into the game, which is pretty convenient. And last, but definitely not the least is that you could access your central market through the app. So if you're like me that likes to keep track of things that I sell and also the ones that I flip, this is heaven sent. Also, if you're eyeing on some of the items that you would want to buy after making some sales, then definitely you could purchase it off of this one. Now note that there might be some delays, so keep that in mind. So that is it guys for this list. Hopefully this has helped a bunch of you out there and I will try to compile more lists like this in the future. If you do found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing as that will help out the growth of the channel. And as always, thanks guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.